वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम अरुणिमा गोस्वामी एंड आई टीच कल्चरल स्टडीज एट असम वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट वन ऑफ द मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ द पेपर कंपेरेटिव लिटरेचर एंड कल्चर व्हिच इज कोऑर्डिनेटेड बाय प्रोफेसर देबर्षी प्रसाद नाथ दिस मॉड्यूल टाइटल ग्लोबलाइजेशन लोकलाइजेशन हैज बीन रिटन बाय अनिंदिता दास रिसर्च स्कॉलर गुवाहाटी यूनिवर्सिटी हियर we will be looking at the processes of globalization and localization and their impact on literature and culture globalization and localization introduction globalization and localization have emerged as integrated phenomena in the present day world in fact considered together they rather become a process having their influence on almost every aspect of human activity it has been observed that the courses of globalization being global in their essence and impact are dependent upon the local conditions hence before tracing out the association between globalization and localization it is imperative to analyze both the terms in isolation globalization an ongoing process of which localization can be regarded as an offshoot refers to a change which has affected human existence all throughout the globe though the process of globalization began long ago with the extensive global activities of christianity it is in the last few decades that there has been a huge trust on it going global is what people talk about nowadays in its root it is an exchange of knowledge trade and capital across geographical borders moreover advancement in communication technology has boosted the process to such an optimal level that the world has shrunk into a global village a term which was popularized by marshall mcluhan the other factors contributing to such an effect are the reduced transportation expenses easy movement of people to other continents growth of private multinational companies and most importantly free trade the massive impact of globalization is evident in every sphere be it political social cultural and literary all in connection to economics the appearance of a global culture is also witnessed with the mingling and interrelation of diverse cultures weakening the boundaries in a process facilitated by the development of technology furthermore the diffusion of different cultures has led towards hybridization blurring the diversities thus there has been a movement from heterogeneity to uniformity this has in turn become a sign of the initiation of a global culture the process of globalization in today's world abundant information and knowledge flows across the globe through the internet people can constantly remain in touch with their friends and family living in any part of the globe goods and materials are shipped within a short span of time and people can now shop sitting at home from all over the world most importantly during any emergencies all kinds of aid reaches the site in no time it does can be said in a nutshell that life has become much easier however there have been a lot of debates regarding the impact of globalization to talk about its positive consequences it can be said that it is i quote the process of world shrinkage of distances getting shorter things moving closer it pertains to the increasing ease with which somebody on one side of the world can interact to mutual benefit with somebody on the other side of the world unquote the description does seem to indicate the development of communication technology resulting in mutual benefit in all spheres including economic which is primarily associated with globalization when economic economist amartya sen says that globalization has enriched the world scientifically and culturally and benefited many people economically as well 
he focuses on an overall positive influence of the process from the market to education science to culture the positive outcome rendered by the process is very much apparent whatever happens globally is spread to the entire world with the medium of communication technology on the flip side global models of consumption and consumerism have paved their way into the world leading to the homogenization of numerous distinct cultures people around the world are getting used to the global trends and cultivating new taste in terms of art music food clothes sports cinema as well as literature it is the media which is often termed as a key contributor to cultural globalization in the words of mike featherstone the process of globalization suggests simultaneously two images of culture the first image entails the extension outwards of a particular culture to its limit the globe heterogeneous cultures become incorporated and integrated into a dominant culture which eventually covers the whole world the second image points to the compression of cultures things formerly held apart are now brought into contact and juxtaposition shakira a colombian multilingual singer songwriter playing outside her home country today hindi films shot in the foreign locations attract the indians residing all over the world and so bollywood films do good business overseas nowadays the events related to the industry such as the award functions are conducted in the foreign countries as bollywood is earning popularity in other countries too together with the economic aspect cultural diffusion also takes place through such an approach similarly children throughout the world dance to the tune of gangnam style a korean song after it became a smashing hit in youtube it indirectly signifies the cultural hybridization or the translocal merger of culture that takes place as an upshot of globalization nevertheless in academic circle globalization remains a debatable subject the main concern regarding cultural globalization is that as a development of all kinds of knowledge is attributed to the west globalization has become a process by means of which the achievements of the west are spread to the world it is indubitable that the western nations are behind all sorts of scientific technological democratic and trade related affairs critics further opine that it is a novel technique of western domination american society being at the core of such an enterprise for that reason globalization is often used as a synonym for americanization most of the time it is american culture and products that permeate the global arena for instance people all throughout the globe are ardent fans of mcdonald's levi's jeans jazz music hollywood movies and disney characters as the ordinary citizens belonging to any part of the globe become the target of the multinational companies to sell their products the local economies are threatened and locally manufactured goods are in danger of being moved away affecting the integrity of local cultures the disintegration of local culture or rather cultures has affected the marginalized nations due to the imposed foreign standards the prime reason behind this is the ubiquitous presence of the american products across the globe but at the same time if seen from a different perspective things do not look so bleak especially from the perspective of those who are enthusiastic about novelty and variety without being critical about the pros and cons of the globalization process they now have a wide range of choices in everything it has provided them ample scope to broaden their horizon of knowledge to incorporate variety in their lifestyle which has come to mean keeping pace with the trend or to stay up to date 
for such section of people it is by choice that they accept things rather than adapting to something which is imposed if this had not been the case mcdonald's burgers and levi's jeans would never have been so popular across the globe in fact in many instances people rejoice at and even demand the availability of such products locally global literature when we think about the impact of globalization on literature as well as in other aspects too it usually implicates a standardized model which is accepted globally in this context the term well literature or world literature needs to be mentioned which was first used by johann wolfgang von goethe to put forward the international circulation and reception of literary work in europe including works of non western origin today however human life is becoming standardized the process of imposed uniformity which originally derived from europe continues its work and hence serves to undermine all individual traditions to be sure national wills are stronger and louder than ever yet in every case they promote the same standards and forms for modern life and it is clear to the impartial observer that the inner basis of national existence are decaying but the question arises whether it is essential to have a standardized form in literary studies as globalization has molded literature as well as other cultural products appearing as the most important challenge of the contemporary world for many literateurs to others there is no need to feel threatened as globalization does not impact literature on the contrary it is one of the dynamic forces of globalization which act in sync with technologies and communication networks across countries and localities in critical discourses of course there is an indication of the formulation of global culture and literature by the readers as paul j points out with this awareness it has become increasingly difficult to study british or american literature without situating it and the cultures from which it emerges in transitional histories linked to globalization at the same time the remarkable explosion of english literature produced outside britain and united states has made it clear that this literature is defined less by nation than by a language in which authors from a variety of cultural and ethnic backgrounds write the globalization of english from this point of view is not a theoretical formulation or a political agenda developed by radicals in the humanities to displace the canon it is a simple fact of contemporary history english literature is increasingly post national whether written by cosmopolitan writers like derek walcott arundhati roy and nadin gordima or by a host of lesser known writers working in their home countries or in diasporic communities around the world from europe and africa to the caribbean and north america i want to argue that we can more effectively recognize our approach to the study of what we have till now treated as national literatures by emphasizing literature's relation to the historical processes of globalization jay das emphasizes the need to read literature from a newer perspective the example of the indian writer in english arundhati roy cited by jay who with her debut and booker prize winning novel the god of small things highlighted the issue of untouchability in the context of kerala a south indian province this highly original novel not only highlights the social evil but also has been able to place indian writing firmly in the world map on the flip side the case of chinese literature and culture needs to be mentioned here the chinese who had once been a powerful territory 
went through a crucial phase after the decline of supremacy in the post opium war period there had been a huge economic political as well as cultural setback it was by the means of translation that cultural modernity took shape in china which can be marked as the onset of globalization in the first place translation also played a vital role in reforming the modern chinese literature's literary and critical discourses as the writers were influenced by western literature but in the process the modern chinese literature lost its traditional jest attempts have been made to translate chinese literature and culture into english and other languages so that the rest of the world can become familiar with the rich cultural and literary heritage of china processes of localization localization on the other hand is the counterpart as well as a reaction of globalization however localization carries different meaning for different people a comprehensive definition is provided by scala when he described localization as the linguistic and cultural adaptation of digital content to the requirements and local of a foreign market and the provision of services and technologies for the management of multilingualism across the digital global information flow it indicates that localization gives rise to the need of alterations taking into consideration local culture and practices since language is the basic mode of communication translation becomes an integral component of localization some people tend to equate localization with translation in case of people who have no access to life saving information in native language translation plays a vital role It is a known fact as mentioned earlier that English as a world language is the source of all global information and so a text is required to be translated into the large, large target local languages to be transmitted to various localities but translation alone does not serve the purpose a direct translation of any textual material would not appeal much unless it is reformed and made adaptive to meet the linkings of the intended consumers it may be for this reason that people identify more with the things which are familiar to them the process of localization in such cases resists the domineering influence of globalization out of the various perspective of looking into localization a change in the attitude of the people worldwide towards the adoration of the local can be termed as the overwhelming effect of globalization in a country like india where there is huge cultural diversity different local cultures coexist the various ethnic groups have their own distinctive cultures though globalization has brought about a vast change in the social political economic and technological sphere it could only benefit a particular section being a developing country about 70% of india's population still dwell in rural areas though technology has penetrated almost every corner of the country people especially the underprivileged have not been able to exploit it to their advantage most of them are either ignorant or non adaptive to the changes that are taking place on the other hand the scenario is to some extent reversed in the urban areas market expansion and competition have been witnessed in the forms of multinational companies being established india at present is gaining global recognition and moving ahead towards turning into a leading economic and political force Though people across the globe have always been fascinated by the exotic nature of Indian culture and tradition they are now getting more familiar by virtue of global technology for instance scholars from many foreign universities visit not eastern states of india to research on different ethnic folk traditions of the region 
they are acquiring the local languages cultivating taste of the local cuisines as well as adopting the way of living of the ethnic people it is advanced communication that has made naga king chili which has been declared as one of the hottest chilies in the world globally famous boosting the local economy side by side nevertheless while talking about indian diaspora it has been seen that those who have migrated from the country to the other parts of the world in quest of better life have a greater propensity for things which are native for instance the asmis people residing in the nook and corner of the world form communities among themselves they seem to be romanticizing more over things that are local it is through them that the assamese festival bihu and traditional bihu songs have become known across continents the works of both the writers and carry traces of indian culture despite the fact that they basically deal with the theme of interconnectedness of nations people and culture by entwining lives for instance the the works of both the writers carry traces of indian culture despite the fact that they basically deal with the theme of interconnectedness of nation people and culture by entwining lives for instance the self referential narrative in rusdis midnight children alludes to the orally narrated arabian nights displaying indigenous indian culture globalization and localization of perspective it is since long back that the processes of globalization and localization have been going on keeping in mind the fact that there are linguistic cultural and technical variations in different locals the validity of globalization is questioned it has to be taken into account how far people are keen on succumbing to a global culture however some forms of globalization are human and tends to include and respect the cultural diversity in the process they also seem to promote traditional and innovative ideas and cultural practices on the contrary a number of global agents are seen to be discouraging local culture and tradition for their own selfish interest of spreading their own and on the more try to do so the more becomes the tendency to localize thus localization can also be seen as a means of resistance the local texts are translated to make them accessible in a global context this is one of the most basic ways of bringing a culture to the notice of the global audience it is also about creating a cultural identity at the present state of globalization retranslation and reappropriation of the text which were once local is in fact an attempt from the standpoint of world literature to create its space in the existing globalized condition another important factor which has aggravated both the processes is food on one hand where burger Kentucky fried chicken and coca cola have taken the place of paratha tandoori chicken and daljeera the same burger is flavored with indian masala and aloo tikki in the same manner chinese cuisine which is released globally are assorted with local spices to give it local flavor as authentic chinese food does not suit everyone's palate even mcdonald's serve mutton burgers in india in place of beef and pork keeping in mind india's religious feelings globalization has appeared to be a major challenge of our time this is the age of the might of internet which has totally transformed the face of communication of the entire world the newly coined word globalization which blends the two words globalization and localization needs to be mentioned here the term was popularized by the sociologist rola robertson as a replacement for the concept of globalization as he desired to eliminate the difference between global and local it is 
I quote, the combination of intense local and extensive global interaction. I unquote. In the words of Barry Wellman, and it is true that interaction that people get over their little box thinking. People are able to think big in all aspects. This has also eliminated conservative outlook of people, helping them to overcome all sorts of biases. Moreover, when localization and culture interweave, the local communities get crucial role to play in developing and sustaining global policies. Therefore, localization also becomes a strategic approach of the local communities to have adequate participation in the globalizing process. The governments and other organizations standing between global resources and global communities are removed. It also encourages revitalization of local culture. The notion or rather an apprehension which commonly prevails in some circles about globalization's overpowering consequence is that it may cross local culture. Leslie Sclair's view in this regard provides an insight appropriate to the context when he says, Globalization is not simply about the disembedding of the local, it is rather about the creation of a new global local nexus, about exploring the new relations between global and local spaces. These questions have been explored most fully in a subset of global culture approach known as global localism. The main research question in this context is the autonomy of local cultures in the face of an advancing global culture. Competing claims of local cultures against the forces of globalization have forced themselves onto sociological, cultural and political agendas all over the world. Such an observation does not seem to deny the existence of global forces which try to crush the local. It also indicates the struggle of the local to resist such forces. In that case, it becomes a matter to ponder that how far globalization and localization together have become or can be fruitful to the human race. If the processes keep on confronting each other rather than complementing each other, humanity is unlikely to be benefited much from it. Now, whether an excess clear talks about is free from any predicament is also a question which may have different dimensions to it. It may either produce very effective result with an all-inclusive growth of the world population or both the processes may lose their individual essence and end nowhere. These are very pertinent topics which will always crop up while discussing globalization and localization. Conclusion It has been discerned from the discussion that the processes of globalization and localization are ongoing and it is obvious by now that they are an integral part of the global reality of the present times. Whatever the processes might be extended to in the future, the expectation of common people would always remain the same, welfare and development. And to fulfill this, it is necessary to strike a proper balance between the two. Just as globalization can potentially do away with cultural diversity, excessive localization would make people unapproachable to new ideas. Further, culture which is uh, regarded as a natural happening and carries its own unique characteristics is also an identity marker for a community but globalization and localization together led to the emergence of a fluid image. The question which arises at this juncture is about how this balance can be maintained. It will truly be possible in the circumstance when there will be respect for cultural democracy at the global level. The different cultures across the globe have the potentiality to contribute knowledge and skill to the greater humanity. 
the interchange of local ideas and promotion of ethics and values can contribute to the benefit of all. With this, we come to the end of this module on globalization, localization. Thank you.